This is a quick tutorial on how to post an item for sale on Craigslist. What we're going to do first is you're going to want to go to OregonCoast.Craigslist.org and you're going to click Post to Classifieds. It's this highlighted um, section near the top left. And they tell you to please limit each posting to a single area and category once per 48 hours. You can also click to see the list of prohibited items, but you probably won't need to. And my item is for sale by owner, so I'm going to click that category. And on the next page, I'm selling a bicycle, so I'm going to click bicycles by owner. And then you're supposed to fill out all these green fields. The green ones are the only required ones. So you got to put your email address in. You got to enter it twice. Oops. And it recommends you use the Craigslist mail relay. This is a good way to keep your email address anonymous um, when you're emailing back and forth with, with potential buyers and I highly recommend using this. You can click one of these to put a phone number in. Um, I don't recommend it. I think that email is probably the best way to start out with and if you need to you can exchange phone numbers later. If, but that's totally your choice. And You, you want to start out with a title that's descriptive. I, I have one pre-selected that I've already written so mine it says oops doesn't say that I accidentally did that. All right, so mine says Schwinn High Timber 18 inch mountain bike. So it gives the basic idea of what it is. It gives the brand, the size. It's good to put a descriptive title so people don't feel like they're wasting their time. And I'm gonna put a price of $100. My specific location, I will put Coos Bay and my zip code. Now in the body of your ad, which I'm just copying and pasting, I've already pre-written it, um, you want to make sure that you give a, a good accurate description. Um, don't be too brief, but definitely don't make it very long if possible. A couple sentences, three sentences, but make sure you describe any types of um, damage to, to your item or any anything that, that you know they would want to know um, so you don't they don't show up and then they feel like you know it wasn't as advertised. And you'll see you can put other details for things like bikes, make, manufacture, model, serial number, dimensions. Um, this isn't for every for every item. Every item won't have this necessarily, um, but you and you don't have to put it. They're all optional, um, except for language of posting right here. You definitely have to select a language, I guess. Um, you can also choose a to show where you're at on a map. You can put an address or a cross street. I don't necessarily recommend that. Um, the only thing I would recommend that for is if you were um, renting out an apartment or selling some type of real estate, things like that. People would know need to know that um, that information, but we don't need to have it for this particular one. And there's this checkbox to, that you always want to leave unchecked because if you check it, you're saying it's okay for others to contact you about other services, products, or commercial interests, which I don't think any of you will be interested in that. We'll click continue. Okay, now we're at the image page. And you can post a maximum of 24 images as it says. And it says to upload the best image first because that will be the one that will be featured. So I'll click add images. I will look in my computer for pictures. I'm just going to post three images. It's a good idea to do at least two or three and show different angles. Make sure the lighting is good. Um, make sure it's, it's a clear picture so people can have an idea of what they're looking at. And there they are, those three. And I'm going to click Done with Images. Now it's not yet published, but it'll give you. it's giving me a preview here of what it's going to look like. And if everything looks okay, which I think it does, 
you can see there's a publish button at the top or the bottom. I'll click the one up here. And it's still not published. It's telling you you have to check your email and you need to go into your email, which I'll do right now. And everything from Craigslist is going to look something like this. Craigslist automated message. And it'll say post slash edit slash delete. You open it up and follow the web address to publish the ad, edit the ad, verify your email address, or delete your ad. So I'm going to click the link. And make sure you don't share the, the link. It's like a password. And make sure you hold on to the email. And you just have to read the terms of use and accept them. And Craigslist is so friendly. They thank you for posting with them and they appreciate it. This is the link to view your post. It may not be visible um, to everyone um, for about 15 minutes, but I'll click it to see what it looks like. This is how it'll look to people. And I just want to remind you to make sure you hold on to this email that Craigslist sent you. The link in it is your way to edit it, delete it. Um, make sure once you sell your item, you, you follow the link to delete it. Otherwise, you may keep getting replies. And I'll show you real quick how to delete it or edit. You just click the link. And you can see there's a button to edit, update images, edit location, or delete. And I'm going to delete. And that will remove it from Craigslist. And that removes it. And it says if it's less than 48 hours old, it can be undeleted. Um, and it will be put back in its original place in the listing. It won't go back to the very top. So that's the quick guide to selling on Craigslist. I just want to show you one more thing. And that's the help section on the home page right below the calendar. And it has all kinds of questions, um, all kinds of topics. You can even search the help section. But if you need even more help, you can come down to the Coos Bay Public Library. Come down to the reference desk. You can get some help there or you can set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment if it's going to be uh, more extensive and we can help you um, list your item or and answer hopefully answer any questions that you have about Craigslist and thank you very much for watching